The cabinet held its extraordinary meeting last night, headed by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, the Prime Minister, as it continues to deal with the latest developments on the COVID-19 outbreak. The cabinet called on citizens and residents to adhere to the comprehensive regulations and health authorities' instructions. Here's more details with Abdullah Rafai. The Council of Ministers held its extraordinary session last night via video communication, headed by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, the Prime Minister. After the meeting, Deputy Prime Minister of the Council of Ministers, Minister of Interior, and Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Anas Al Saleh, said the cabinet reviewed in the commencement of its meeting the speech addressed by His Highness the Emir to the citizens last Saturday on the occasion of the last 10 days of Ramadan and included inspirational meanings and good directions in which His Highness focused on the need to join efforts with the international community and to support all the scientists and specialists to find a successful vaccine for the COVID-19 pandemic. The Council of Ministers expressed its gratitude for the high sentiments and the important directions of the speech, which will establish the foundations of national unity for the security and stability of the country, wishing for continued progress, prosperity, under the wise leadership of His Highness the Emir and His Highness the Crown Prince. The Council of Ministers decided to commission the relevant ministerial committees to work on implementing and following up the words of His Highness the Emir and raise the appropriate recommendations for the Council of Ministers. Next, the Council of Ministers reviewed a plan presented by the Foreign Minister, Dr. Ahmed Nasser Mohammed al-Subah, entrusted with securing the repatriation of citizens abroad, as he detailed the preparations for the return of citizens from Saudi Arabia through al nuwaisi border checkpoint during the period from 12th to 20th of May. The Council then heard an explanation presented by the Minister of Health, Dr. Basil Hamoud al-Subah, regarding the latest developments in the country where it was noticed that the number of injuries of citizens and residents were increased by mixing, reflecting the lack of adherence to health instructions and guidelines, especially social distancing. The minister added that the health situation is still under control and the situation is being dealt with, as the number of injuries is expected to decrease after the implementation of the comprehensive curfew in the country. The cabinet affirmed the need for citizens and residents to adhere to the comprehensive ban regulations and health authorities' instructions in this regard. Later, Acting Minister of Oil and Minister of Electricity and Water, Dr. Khaled Al-Fadl, and a number of officials at the Ministry of Electricity and Water presented a visual presentation on the readiness of the ministry for the summer of 2020 and the possible effects on the electricity generation sector in the state of Kuwait from the repercussions of the outbreak of COVID-19. The cabinet expressed its satisfaction with the good preparations made by the Ministry of Electricity and Water in the face of the summer season.